What is up? Welcome back, YouTube buds. Man, oh man, we have got ourselves a project right here. This is my little baby 10 foot trailer. Um, I bought this in 2017, around the same month in March. And you know, it's been four years, and this thing had taken a lot of beating. And it's time to give this little girl some care. Um, I just finished my walk around to see specifically what it is we need to do and as you can tell right off the bat these tires are tore up um, I can't vouch for what brand they are they are super cheap um, WD signature I don't even know what that means um, but these tires are probably one of the first things that we're gonna have to replace uh, I do have the spare up front here so we're gonna have to get rid of that and figure out what I want to do there because I was hoping to kind of put some type of a storage box up front so we'll just have to see what we're gonna do there um, we're also gonna have to pull off these hubs and see how the bearings are um, I just want to make sure that a lot of water hasn't been getting in there. If it does, it really does deteriorate the grease um, quickly. So I want to check that out. The, the body of this, this, this trailer is very rusted. Um, the water has gotten to it quite a bit. I mean, I paid about 1400 bucks, about $1,500 after taxes for this trailer in New Mexico is where I got it. And um, it's just, it's, you know, it's just a little cheap trailer that I use a Pull around the razors, razors in the back there. Um, but if you really want to see where the rust is coming from, if you look under here, this is really where all the rust is at. Um, the underneath of the trailer is, you know, it takes the beating from the roads um, and uh, things of that nature. But uh, looking over here, wow, I just realized that my axle is a little bent. Look at that. That axle is a little bit bent there. Oh, well. All right. Um, it, it rusts all the way up front too, all the way to the hitch. So we're gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do to get rid of that rust. I think I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of sanding. Um, the deck here also needs some work. So we're probably just gonna sand this off. Um, because it lost its coating, it did start to have some sap come out of this, this wood. It's not treated. So I haven't decided whether we're gonna treat it yet or if we're just gonna paint it or what. Um, some of these boards don't look great. So um, I have to go to the store to see if um, how much the boards cost because I might have to end up replacing a couple of these boards also. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and install a better strapping system for the Razor. I did take a lot of heat for our um, uh, towing video that we did for the Razor. So if you wanna check that video out, that is on the top of the screen right now. But um, we are gonna figure out some type of a mechanism for making this whole front deck a little bit better. I wanna do some straps around the tires. And then on the back here, I was also thinking about kind of chopping some of this gate off. Um, that gate is pretty heavy. Uh, putting up and down is kind of awkward. So I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna just chop it or maybe cut it into two sections. Maybe I can cut this this middle part out so that way these kind of just have their own little uh, two, two ramps here. Um, that could be a little bit better as well, make it a little bit easier to put that ramp up and down to that gate. Um, and then we're gonna clean up the back end as well. So there's quite a bit of rust here. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll throw on some like pretty cool underglow lights or some LEDs to light the razor up. Maybe going through the strip here when we're traveling at night so we can light this um, the side by side up uh, when we're traveling down the road. It might be pretty cool. So um, I guess we'll just go ahead and start with doing some sanding and we'll just kind of see how it goes from there. Well, this is as far as we got today. I think we did a pretty good job so far. Um, so here's the biggest issue that I've run into so far is this deck, um, right? As you can see, there are all kinds of knots and it's just not really good lumber. Um, and this is the worst one right here. This one has a huge crack in it. Um, I'm really not too concerned with this one only because this board right here specifically does not, uh, it's not a load bearing board. 
Um, the wheels of the Razor actually come up on the sides here. So even though it is a concern, it's really not that big of a concern to me. Um, and the rest of the boards look pretty decent. Um, I decided to go ahead and keep them. I was gonna replace all of them, but I think they're gonna be fine. So we skimmed a bunch of the wood uh, from of paint. And basically what I think I'm gonna do is gonna go see if I can find a really heavy dirt, duty, durable outdoor paint. And I'm probably gonna roll it on. I'm not exactly sure yet. Um, we did also do a lot of good sanding on these rails here. We got most of the rust off um, and on this uh, wheel well is well. Um, that came off. There was a lot of rust down here. We got mostly all that off. Um, but overall, it's coming out pretty good. Um, I'd really like to go ahead and cut this um, tire holder off so that way I can put a nice storage box up front here so we can put all of our tie downs, um, all of our other things on there. And then, um, yeah, I guess we're just gonna take it from there. I'm gonna have to go get some primer and some paint. I also took the back gate off and all of the hardware stuff for the light so I could sand around all of these things in the back. I'm really not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with that gate yet, but it is getting really late, so we're gonna have to go in for the night and I guess I'll just check you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day and I actually got a chance to do a lot more work that I didn't get time to put on video only because we had a crazy storm front come through and I just had to get as much done as I could before the rain started to come. So at this point, we have basically sanded the entire trailer and we've also taken it outside and we power washed it and scrubbed it with some Dawn to remove any of the last grease that's still on there. I also pulled off both of the tires and removed the hubs to check the wheel bearings. The wheel bearings did need a little bit more regreasing. So I cleaned those up really good, regreased those and then packed them back in and put the tires back on. So but before we get into going ahead and starting to spray this thing down, I wanna show you really quickly what the trailer looks like. Um, so here is just a really good shot of, you know, some of the things that we did as far as um, sanding these, uh, sanding these rails down, getting all that paint off. And a lot of it was also just getting um, some of this metal just really roughed up and ready for paint. So um, that's one of the important parts. Also, I'm, I wasn't planning on getting all of the rust off and all of the paint off. It was just really a good prep in order for the metal to accept the new primer and accept the new paint. So um, in addition to that, there's also a couple of things that I wanted to show you as far as what products I'm using and how I did all of this. Um, so for all of the flat sanding and all of the larger areas, like over the wheel wells, I used an orbital sander with some, I started out with um, 100 grit, but I realized very quickly that was not gonna be um, heavy enough, so I went down to 40. And once I got down to 40 grit, this stuff really started to peel off quickly. Um, there were also some really tight spaces that I just could not get my orbital sander into. So basically what I did is I turned to this cool little tool that I have for my drill. Um, I have these discs as well, and I use a very heavy grit, um, basically a, a scotch Bright pad. Um, and I did cut these up. I used about three of these pads total on the entire trailer. So these things work really well. You can buy these at like any store. Um, I recommend using these things. Um, it got a lot of that area ready for the paint. And this is basically the steps that I'm going to take. Um, so one of the first things I'm obviously going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start primering today. Um, we'll get the primer on. It should only take an hour or so for it to dry. And then we're gonna go ahead and head over to a semi-gloss base paint. So this is gonna be our base coat. Um, we're gonna use a semi-gloss just to kind of fill in some of the cracks and some of the weird areas in there. And then after that dries, we're gonna head on over to this final um, gloss black finish here. Um, not sure if I'm gonna go with a clear coat or not. I really want to, only to add just that extra layer of protection. Um, this trailer is four years old and it has seen a lot of hard times, which is why I'm really happy to see it get this new fresh paint. Um, so we're just gonna have to see how I like the clear clear coat, or uh, excuse me, the gloss. This is some um, adhesive promoter that I'm gonna use for all the plastic parts. Um, and there really aren't a lot. The only two that I'm really focused on are these rear tail lights. 
Um, so these, uh, I don't have to paint them, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint them anyway. Um, they're just right here. It's gonna be really simple. Um, we'll put a little bit of um, promotion adhes it, uh, adhesive promotion on these two. And I'm not gonna paint the very bottom light. It's like a little light bar that goes across here. I'm just gonna let that one sit this, sit this out. I'll clean it up. But other than that, folks, let's go ahead, wheel this baby outside and go ahead and start painting. folks check it out my goodness this looks so good i've got everything murdered out we've got to the point where we are finally done painting all of the metal on the trailer the wheels are probably my favorite those turned out really great they used to look like this um just super ugly and you know just basic real basic looking but now they're all black everything's black um i did end up putting four coats of paint on this trailer. So we started out with the primer, we primed the entire thing, and then we went with a semi-gloss base coat, ended up putting a gloss finish coat, and then a clear coat, just to kind of give it that overall hardened protectant on it. Um, I also took a very, very fine uh, scotch bright pad with my uh, dual action polisher to these um, wheel wells just to get all that trash out, out of there because there was a lot of bugs on there and um, after I did that I was able to put another three clear three um, coats of clear coat on those so those turned out really really nice um, and overall I'm just really happy about how everything's turning out so far um, so we've got a couple things still we got to do we got to get this back gate done this thing's it's so awful looking um, it just, I hate this thing. Like I said before in the video, Jessica has uh, talked me into keeping it. So we're gonna just keep it like it is. I'm gonna clean it up, sand it, get that thing painted. And then we're gonna do the deck. We're gonna get the deck done. And finally, um, just something I managed to pick up today are these X-Track rail um, things. I think they were gonna help out really, really well with um, pulling up the razor and not really having to care where I'm I'm at as far as being center or not. So having these things in the front and the rear of the front tire um, will allow me to go ahead and strap the razor tires the razor tires down, so I don't have to worry about pulling down on that chassis anymore and negatively negatively affecting these shocks. So. Um, well, it's getting really late. Um, I don't really have time. And it also is St. Patrick's Day weekend. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and pick up all this stuff tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. We are back. We are back at it again. And now it is time to coat this deck. We're gonna put some black satin paint on it. Um, I picked up this Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel. Uh, it is an outdoor. Um, basically an outdoor use paint so I'm not exactly sure how much we're gonna need of it but this is the one I'm gonna use and I'm just gonna put it in this tray and roll it right on um, I think it's gonna turn out really good as I already said I primered a lot of these really bad knots to kind of seal um, all those areas those pores of the wood so that way it doesn't soak up too much of that paint and we also uh, started and finished uh, sanding the back gate so the gate is over here that's drying um, by the time I'm done putting the first coat of uh, paint on the deck that that gate should be ready for primer and for paint and this thing's almost done um, now we also have to I'm gonna work on this um, our, our little connector right here our four pin connector is in here it is very deteriorated I will show you that in a little while but we're gonna go ahead and just start wrapping this part up and I'll put on a video so that you can see how the deck turns out.
here she is baby the grand reveal she is looking good this trailer came out way better than expected this thing is just gorgeous uh, I added that little cool little ammo can on there I drilled it in from the bottom and screwed it with two screws and I added a uh, waterproof washers to that I got that from Harbor Freight that was like 13 bucks um, but uh, here are our new tracks in action here I got the two front wheels um, already strapped down uh, we got some pretty cool decals on here that I threw on uh, real easy for you to understand how many PSI you must have in your tires um, but man oh man this thing just turned out great she's all clean ready it's kind of wet out here so she's about to get dirty but that's not a big deal um, all of our new plugs that went up front uh, work so all of our lights are are good to go and working they're all super clean um, if you look right here you can see how nice and clean everything turned out got some new um, tie downs at the back here for just additional accessories and I also added another one right up front in the middle in between those in case I need to use this uh, trailer for hauling other things that need different tie downs but uh, the wheels turned out great too um, so yeah everything's really good man this thing was a great project it took a lot longer than I expected and a little bit more money uh, I probably got about $180 into this restore. Um, and to follow up on that axle, that axle is actually bent, which is causing some very strange wear and tear on my tires. You probably saw those in the video. Uh, but I do plan on replacing that axle when the tires are ready to go, which will probably be later on this fall or early next spring, uh, which is good because the tires lasted about a good three and a half, four years at that point. So I'll be happy with that. Um, but uh, yeah. So uh, I really appreciate everybody hanging out and checking out this video. If you have any questions on some of the things that I did to this trailer, go ahead and uh, shoot me a message and I'll definitely be responding right back to you. But nonetheless, I hope you all have a good time out there riding and I guess we'll check you next time.